Well, this week we are going to add a paper garland and a sparkly glittery garland to our Christmas decorations. Stay tuned and see how fun and easy these are to make. All right, for our first garland, we are going to build it on this piece of crocheting, crochet thread. Um, you need a lightweight, really lightweight string. And this happens to be a multicolor. I don't really think the color matters. If you've got a dark green one or one that matches your glitter, either would work really well. I have a variety of glitter here. I think I'm going to make my little lake of glitter on my plate work surface here. Now this is just a piece of parchment paper. I have some red glitter. And we're going to mix up the glitter. I have some little red bigger bits. So get these all open without spilling. And some of these came from the craft store. Some of them came from the uh, nail art uh, displays. Some came from Dollar Tree. This is like I love this stuff. I think it's called eyelash glitter. It's like little fine stringy bits, and so is this one. I decided to add some silver to. And then I have some just some plain iridescent white. I thought this would give a little extra sparkle. All right, not sure exactly how much we're going to need. I'm going to kind of mix that together. Now, I have glue. You want a fairly thin glue. And what I've got here is just some Elmer's glue all. And I've got it over here to the side, and I've, you'll notice I've got a wet wipe. You are going to need a wet wipe. All right. You're going to run this through here. And you're going to get the glue all over your fingers, and you are going to coat this string. Hoping I have enough glue or enough glitter out for this. You want this really saturated in glue. Now straighten it out. Wipe your fingers off with a wet wipe. I'm trying to hold this so it doesn't get all on itself again. And you really only have one shot at this, so I'm going to try and get this really coated as good as I can, as long as I can on the string. Once it's coated in the glitter, it doesn't want to stick to itself quite as much. glitter on it, get the glue wiped off, and just kind of just get as much glitter into that glue, because this, this is our only shot. We don't really have an opportunity to get more glue and glitter on this once it dries, because that would ruin the sparkle on what you do have on. Line this up. Don't lay it in the glue. And don't let it touch itself. And now this just needs to sit until it's completely dry. Once it's dry, I'll come back and we'll take a look at this on the tree. All right, all right. So our garland is dry and it'll get stiff, and we're going to lose some glitter. That's to be expected. I think you can probably see how much glitter I'm losing. Your string, once you move your string around, it won't be so dry or so stiff anymore. And we are going to, I figured this would be the best way to show you what I'm doing. Hopefully it's working. And we're just going to spiral this up our tree. I would recommend if you're not trying to do this on a video that you do it like outside. Because you're going to have glitter all over or over the sink. But... There, oops, get this. 
and you can manipulate I can manipulate this a little bit more off camera but I want you to see how it looks but it's really picking up the light I hope the camera is picking that up but I, that turned out really cute I'll have to dump the extra glitter off but that's our glittery garland let's move on to our next one all right we are going to make a paper chain type garland now and what I've got is some strips of quilling paper this is sold in the craft store in the paper crafting area if you don't have access to this it is inexpensive and it's fairly easy to get just cut some pieces of cardstock down to an eighth of an inch wide and then we're going to cut from there down to three quarters of an inch um, I like this because it's already pre-cut a set width I have some glue and a toothpick and I have two pairs of tweezers to play with here the thing is you need a pair of tweezers that will stay closed on their own this pair is one of the ones that you squeeze to open and this pair has a latch so we're going to take a piece of paper and I like to run my thumbs thumbnails on one side of it kind of pre-curl it a little bit and it's not going to want to cooperate put some glue on enough to hold it but not so much that you make a mess and then let's see kind of use your tweezers to help you fold this around the first one is always the hardest get those ends put together and then squeeze it with your tweezers and let that set until it dries when this glue is dry I'll be back it won't take long because we didn't use much I'll be back and we'll do the next piece alright so we've got this first one done and I've switched to a thicker glue I've switched to this craft one so do not run away so now we're going to do the second piece we're going to take a green one and we're going to slip our first ring onto our next one And this gives us a little something to hold on to. It makes it a little easier. Kind of ease your ends up. Get your glue. And wherever it's easiest to put the glue on is where I put the glue on. And yeah, this is one of those projects that's kind of fiddly. You'll find after you do several of, you know, a couple of rings, you'll get a rhythm down. So that's two. That needs to set up a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this chain together off camera. And then when I come back, I'll have it all put together and we can see how it looks. All right, so here's our little paper chain. And I decided I'm going to hang this on the front of the fireplace. I've got some, just some regular sewing pins. You might try a glue dot if you don't want to use a pin. I think this will work. Put a pin through there. Put a pin through the other end. And then I'm going to try and put this tip of my scissors. I'm just kind of putting this between the tops of the stone area on my fireplace and the mantel. That one's going into the top stone. But could have been a little longer, but it'll be fine. I need something just a little bit bigger around to do that. Okay. There. So there we go. We have a paper chain hanging on our fireplace for our dolls. We've got the tree decorated with the garland. And I'm sure you can come up with a lot more ideas for garlands for your dollhouse Christmas. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure and check the blog post for some photos and I will talk to you next time.